New tonight, as the cold weather approaches, more people are starting to pull out those warm clothes of theirs. But for some, a winter coat might not be within reach. 44 News reporter Jordan Whalen was in Evansville with how you can provide a source of comfort and security during the colder months. Local organizations are coming together for this year's Code a Kid campaign to ensure that no child in our community is left to face the winter weather without the warmth they deserve. I feel like we should all have a coat because it's fair because there's some kids who don't really have as much stuff as other kids do. Three organizations are simply asking the community to check their closets to help keep local children warm this winter season. Don Clayton's Fine Dry Cleaning has been helping with this campaign for over 20 years. With a goal of 3,000 coats every year, they have donated hundreds of thousands of coats over the lifetime of this program. Today, they brought 100 coats to the Dream Center to ensure every child has access to a coat. Nobody wants to see a, a child out in the cold, you know, shivering at the bus stop or, you know, out at recess or can't go out to recess and play outside. I know my children, they're required to take a coat with them. Once the coats are collected and cleaned, they are then distributed through the Salvation Army and the Evansville Christian Life Center and are free to anyone that needs them. If we're going to have a real change and impact in our community, we have to work together. We're able to come and wrap around them, and it might be working for the coats. It might be working to help pay utility assistance. It could be really working some family completely out of poverty. We are going to work together to do that, and that's the only way families can be successful in our community. The program is calling for all coat sizes, especially middle school-sized coats. 44 News then asked fifth grader Tony Hill why it's important to donate to the cause. Because other people are usually like sad because they don't get anything and then and I feel like they should because if, they're, if they really have the kindness in their heart they can. Donations will be accepted up until the beginning of January and you can visit any Don Clayton's location to donate. Reporting in Evansville, Jordan Whalen, 44 News. Thank you, Jordan.